What's up guys, Sleepy here, and today we are going to be playing Pokemon Bonfire Stories as our third part of the Relic Castle Game Jam playthroughs. We have so far played through Pantheon and Steve the Barrel. so if you would like to check those out, I would recommend that you do. This one seems a little more cozier of a game. Hey, you're Ellie's friend, right? Glad to see you could make it. The fire's just getting good. Everyone else is up ahead. Sorry, what did you say your name was? Sleepy. So you're Sleepy? Alright, Sleepy, I'll remember. By the way, I'm Tio. Nice to meet you. Hey, Ellie, look who made it. Hey, Sleepy, you ready for a good time? Come on. Spence always has a good story. I heard that Nate has been saving one just for tonight. Anyway, just go ahead and talk to anybody. I'm ready for some storytelling. So I guess I guess the premise of the of the game is we're all in the woods telling stories. Oh, don't mind me just hanging out here. I don't have a story to tell. Well, I mean, I might be a bit of a writer, but uh why don't you go ask Nate Spencer Cat to tell you stories? If you like those, maybe then you and I can collab sometimes. Yeah, I'd love it if more people came to tell bonfire stories. The singing and the the singing is funny. Okay. I was working on a story, but I don't think it's ready yet. Sorry, maybe I'll have it ready in time for the next time we get together around the bonfire. Alright, so... I'm guessing this one also doesn't tell stories. Wanna hear- oh, this is- this is the story. Uh, no thanks. Does this one tell stories? I've heard a lot of stories, but I'm not good at telling them. Try asking Spencer Nate. Alright. Let's start with this one, because he looks cozy. Hey, I've been working on this story for a while. Wanna hear it? I call this one, The Changeling. Alright, so we're gonna hear the story. You sure? It's pretty creepy. Tell me the story, dude. The Changeling. Sleepy, do you want to come with me on an adventure? I'm going into the forest to play. Oh my god, this is this is really cool. Okay. Can we go in the house or no? No, okay. Can I talk to them? I'm still right here, no worries. I'm not scared, dude. The forest is pretty safe, but if it gets too rough, don't forget to take a berry break. There's a tree right at the forest entrance. And don't forget, stay on this side of the river. Dangerous people live on the other side. Dangerous people? Dangerous people who would separate us. You don't want to be taken away from Mama forever, do you, Sleepy? I guess not. Oh, we ate some berries. Okay, okay. This is getting intense. Oh wow, I love my character. Oh, we have our own Zoroa. Oh yeah, we killing it right now, okay. Oh wait, what? Okay, you got me. What? Don't fight me anymore. <laughs> what? Why is Azura- I'm gonna go heal up. Why is Azura talking like that? Alright, so I guess... There's gonna be some wild Pokemon around. Ooh, is that a tree for saving? No, it's a Zor- what the heck? Okay, so there's a ton of Zoroas. You beat me already! I'm tired, I don't want to fight anymore. Okay, dude. I don't know why these Zoroas are like talking to us, but... Oh, it's a berry tree! Like a real one, that's cool.
I don't even know if there's wild Pokemon or not. This is probably Azorua. Yeah. Why are <laughs> they turning into berry trees? Alright, well, we're ripping through these Zoroas. Okay, okay. I don't want to play with you. Wait. Met at the bonfire. Wait, I think? Okay, yeah, healing trees don't move. Zoroas do. I mean, I might as well battle them though, right? Critical hit, damn. Shadow Ball, ooh, that could be useful. Why, why do all the Zoros talk? That's weird. I think maybe the girl following me is Azorua. Oh, there is wild Pokemon. Eevee. They're just weaker Zora was though. I'm gonna try and find a healing berry tree and then we'll battle that guy. I feel like the more Zora was we battle, the more prepared we'll be for whatever's gonna happen, maybe? I do like the idea of this, where it's like, you're in a story. But I'm, I'm, I'm just curious on where it's gonna, like, go. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Ooh, a Vulpix. This forest is full of, like, cute little Pokémon. Oh wait, let's talk to him. Hey, I'm not bothering you. We got Psych up. Shh, there's people from town over there. Are they going to your house? I'm going to follow them. I'll come back when they're gone. You two stay where it's safe. 
I don't, I don't, I want to see what's happening. Stay back, kids. Don't touch my children! Arcanine, close combat! The illusion disappeared. You're safe, kids. That Zoroark can't hurt you now. Come on, let's get you back to your families. Everything is going to be alright now. We'll take you back to town and you'll be safe at home with pe the people who love you, okay? Just follow me. I think you two have had enough excitement for one day. Try to get some sleep, okay, kids? I don't want another mama, Sleepy. Why can't mama be our mama anymore? I don't want to stay here. Do you think mama will come for us? Those kids haven't spoken a single word since they got here. I can only imagine how traumatic the whole thing must be for them. The poor things are so young, too. Will they even remember their real parents? Miss, please calm down. I assure you that all the plants here are just decorative fakes. We don't even keep real plants for allergy reasons. Nothing to worry about here, little one. Just go back to your room now. I just want you to double-check the ones in the hallway to be absolutely sure. Do you think there aren't any Pokémon that can make themselves look like trees? We'll keep on your toes, little one. Alright, so I guess it's getting a little creepy. There's no positive idea on the kids yet, but a couple of families already signed up to meet the kids tomorrow. I can't believe a Pokémon was able to kidnap children from right under our noses in the first place. So I guess we are supposed to be kidnapped children. Like, Zoroark was taking care of us in the woods. And these are the bad people that wanted to separate us. Come with me. I can't believe you two are allowed to wander these hallways alone. Were you even given a bed or something to eat? Honestly, with so many offers hang officers hanging around, you'd think someone would realize you two were left unsupervised. But I suppose everyone here feels safe enough to just let... Just having guards that they've become complacent. A uniform really... Works wonders, dear children. Please keep in mind that when dealing with humans in the future. Excuse me, nurse. Where are you taking those children? The room is in the other direction. Don't worry, my sweet Ellie. My darling Sleepy. I won't let anyone take you away again. Let's go home. That was the whole story? I hope you liked the changeling. Didn't that twist at the end surprise you? I, I liked it, but I wasn't like, were we real children or were we Zoroarks? Zoruas. It was interesting. That was nice. This is cool. I like this. Okay. And I keep the Pokemon that I've seen in my Pokédex. And my TMs! That's helpful. Hey, you ready for the best bonfire story? I know one called Flashing Lights. Wanna hear it? You ready for this, right? Flashing Lights. Alright, let's do this. I like these. I'm excited. Reports have been coming in from a remote desert town of headaches. Memory loss, seizures, and unexplained behaviors. Occurring in both the human and Pokemon population. Enough concern has been raised that the Pokemon Health Organization has enforced a quarantine until the source of the disease. And at this point, we can't even confirm that it is a disease. A quarantine has been put in place until the source of the disease is found. For the sake of research, we'll be allowed in, but no one leaves before the approval of PHO comes through. Should be a fun little vacation for us, huh, Sleepy? This huge machine has a direct link to PHO headquarters. It takes up too much space, but the video quality is top-notch and the connection never falters. At least it never faltered before. Sorry, I got caught up in graphing again, didn't I? How long have you been standing there? Not long. Heh, <laughs> maybe I'll start get, get started on some field studies before I get too caught up too. Sleepy, you're going to be interviewing the townspeople, right? I'll be just south if you learn anything interesting. I know I don't need to tell you to be say uh, to be careful. Wow, what is wrong with my reading? But stay safe, okay? This can is full of papers. 
These look like they've been ripped from Ellie's journal, but why would she throw these away? Oh, so the other character's always named Ellie? Take a closer look. Stop going th Take a closer look. You remove a handful of papers and uncrumple one carefully. There are all daily logs written in Ellie's handwriting, but they don't make any sense. Many of them describe an entire day's work, but have today's date. Others have tomorrow's date or the day after. It's as if whoever wrote these entries is caught in some kind of time loop. Besides the date, Ellie's writing is very detailed. If the entries were accurate, you'd have at least two weeks of research done. Too bad you two only arrived yesterday. These journals are full of Ellie's personal notes. Some of the entries are more suited for a personal diary than a field study. I don't know, this is getting weird already, I guess. Ooh, look! There is no response. Was a dead-eyed stare one of the symptoms? I, I saw him before he even attacked me, dude. Wild Behem appeared! Go Flygon! Ooh, that crit, though. I like how this person has his own, like, little Pokemon team. Oh wow, I just got all stat boosts. Good timing. Still no response. Well, that's weird. I would probably be like, hey, this Pokemon's ultrasonic waves are so powerful they can bring on headache in people. The waves are created by rubbing its wings together vigorously. The wings become more adept at flying after this Pokemon evolves. The books aren't sorted very well. This shelf seems to contain books about local Pokemon, but the names of those Pokemon seem to have been removed? Its wings create a series of notes. These sounds have given this Pokemon a reputation as a desert spirit. Alright, so there's like TMs hidden in this bookcase. It was discovered in ancient ruins. While moving, it constantly spins. Said to be dolls of mud made by primitive humans and brought to life by exposure to a mysterious ray. Okay, I can't do that one. Still no response. You've seen them, right? Them, you know. My mind says that they've always been here. This is normal, everything's fine, don't even notice them, but if they've always been there, why don't I know their names? They don't appear in any of the library's books, but they've always been here, right? And this town, where are all the people? I think I've lived here, but then why can't I remember what happened to all the people? What happened to them? Please, just listen to me. Go to the library and try to find their names. If they were always here, we would know their names. I know their names, dude. What the heck? What the heck? Sleepy, I'm glad to see your face. It's really desolate out here. I haven't seen a single person even come outside yet. Are the headaches so debilitating that no one leaves their home? How awful. Anyway, did you finish checking out on everyone? That was fast. Are you ready to head back to the lab? Oh, I can't go down that way. So I did do everything. Great, I've been playing in the sand long enough. Time for some data analysis. So I've got a theory. Want to hear it? Yeah. 
So all the samples I've tested don't show any signs of disease. All the Pokemon here are medically healthy. But there's no denying that they all have psyduck sized migraines, and same for the humans here. Something is affecting them, but what? I found that certain Pokemon haven't been affected at all. Local Sandile, Crocrock, Crocodile, as well as Scraggy and Crafty and Cacturn. That's two families of Pokemon that are immune to the headaches, and then Cacturn. Cacturn's pre-evolution, Cacnea does experience the headaches. So what does Cacturn have in common with Sandile or Scrafty? Something that Cacnea doesn't have? A type, Dorcas. That's right. When Cacnea evolves into Cacturn, it becomes Dark type. The other Pokemon that show immunity are also Dark type. So my theory is that we're not dealing with any kind of disease. Everything that's happened is a result of psychic powers. So tomorrow, I want to focus our research on all the psychic Pokemon in the area. But for tonight, let's get some rest. Oh wow, we sleep together. Espeon seems to be sleeping peacefully, but the orb on its forehead keeps glowing. Is it using its psychic powers while it's dreams? While it dreams? Alright. That used to be a door. So did this. Uh, there's a new house now. Nothing happens. Oh no, don't tell me it's frozen. Oh, that's rough. I didn't even finish the bonfire stories. I was so excited. This game was very, very cool. Um... I think I would, I would definitely rate this game highly just because the stories are really well done and like everything else. Now, I know there's always going to be glitches, that's, that's to be expected, in a game that was rushed over the course of a month, but a lot of these people have accomplished a lot. And if you want to check out the rest of this story, as well as the other stories, you should definitely go ahead and click on the link in the description that will take you to the Relic Castle thread of this story. Play it for yourself. Very, very, very good storytelling, I would say. I'm gonna finish this on my own time. I thank you guys for watching, I love you all, and uh... I will see you guys next time.